If you go to the About page of some of the top streamers on Twitch, there are a bunch of slick graphics that viewers can click on to visit their social media accounts, affiliate links, and more. You don't have to be a Photoshop expert to do the same, because the web-based graphic design app Canva offers a free account that is plenty powerful to create graphics for your Twitch channel. In this video, we'll show you how you can easily create these panels in Canva for absolutely free. First, sign up for a free account at canva.com. We'll be creating a square panel in this example, so we'll choose the logo preset from the home screen. We'll set a background color by first clicking on the empty canvas, then the color button. We can choose from one of the swatches, customize our own, or enter a color code. Let's add our first visual element by first clicking on the Elements tab, which will have tons to browse through. We'll type water into the search bar. We'll drop this wave in and resize by dragging the corners. We want to add some texture to the plain background, so we'll search for some gradient shapes. This little bean shape should work, so we'll add it, then resize and reposition. The color isn't on theme, so we'll click on one of the two gradient color buttons and then choose the color we used for the background to blend it in. Then change the other color to match the other element. Resizing and repositioning it, we want to actually put it behind the wave. So with the gradient shape selected, click position and click backward to move it back behind other elements. We want more of these, so with the shape selected, click the duplicate button to make a copy. Then resize and reposition. We can adjust the color to vary it up and move it behind the wave like we did before. Repeat as desired. Now let's add some text. Click on the text tab and click add a heading. We'll make this the YouTube panel like so. Then we'll add a subheading and enter a call to action. Drag the corners to resize and drag to reposition. We'll duplicate the subheading with the duplicate button and enter our YouTube URL and reposition it in a nice spot. Let's try here. We can upload our own logos to use in this panel by clicking on the Upload tab and clicking Upload Media. We've already uploaded some logos previously, so we can just add them in. Then reposition and resize to taste. We can fine-tune this design and even customize elements as needed. For example, we'll adjust the colors of this wave to be a bit darker. Then tweak the position. You don't have to create the rest of your panels from scratch. You can click the Duplicate Page button to add a copy of the panel to your project. Then you have a starting point to easily create your next panel with. Time to export these graphics and add them to our Twitch channel. Click Share, then Download. The suggested PNG will work, so we'll keep that and click Download, and it will download to our computer. On your Twitch channel's About tab, click the Edit Panels toggle. Click on the square with the plus sign and click Add a Text or Image Panel. Click Add an Image, then add your downloaded Canva graphic. Drag the crop area to include the whole image and click Done. Click Submit to save your changes, then click the plus square to repeat the process for the rest of the panels. Add links to your social accounts to make the panels clickable. Once you've clicked Submit on all added panels, click the Edit Panels toggle and boom, you'll see your new panels for your viewers to click on. To learn how to use Canva to create a stream starting soon graphic for Lightstream Studio for absolutely free, click on the video card. Want to chat with the community? Join our Discord through the invite in the description.